Okay, so I wanted to do a little bit of a review here. Um, I didn't see this online on YouTube or anything when I did a search, but I bought the item anyways, and so I'd like to do a little bit of review on it. Of course, I just got it today. Um, very fast shipping, first of all. I ordered this on Saturday. It's Tuesday, and it's already here. came uh, about in the afternoon, so that's amazing. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, this is the Film City shoulder mount rig for DV, HDV, DSLR, video matte box, follow focus camera. So that's what it's listed as on eBay. And that's what the listing looks like. So that was all good. Now a little bit about, uh, uh, this is questionable. Uh, I got an email from them. They said they would report the value at $43, which is very interesting, which makes me pay more tax when the item was clearly only $27. So um, I don't know if they're adding the shipping into that. Uh, they should not do that. I don't want to pay duty on top of shipping. And then this is with the real shocker. Here is the DHL Express company that they used to ship it with. And they wanted another 20 bucks on top of it. And what they charged me for was duty $1.68. Well, that sounds very fair. GST, $3.57. Well, I don't mind paying that. But then they charged me a $10 processing fee and then another $4 processing fee to uh, collect it at the door. So they took another 20 bucks. So that wasn't too impressive. But let's get to the item. So it was fairly easy to set up. Um, it this part doesn't really seem to sit on your shoulder your shoulder is more narrow like that this is kind of big uh, this part seems to hit your body another little flaw in the design is it looks like you can slide this back and forth but as you can see this comes down and rests on this and it allows nothing to do but one thing i thought was really cool about this was i could shoot myself and sure enough uh, we'll do some shots later but uh, that's what you can do. They don't even advertise that at all. But you can turn the camera around and shoot yourself. Uh, the item is fairly good. The, the one thing that really bothers me is this is just plastic and it's got these holes in it, which uh, makes me think that that's probably the first piece is going to go. But I mean, that can be replaced. The other thing that I didn't like so much was the release. It just, on the switch here, it feels a little flimsy. And of course, uh, it's a different kind of quick release than all the other quick releases. So I think I'm going to be buying a bunch of quick releases that are all the same. So I don't have to slowly change the quick release on the bottom. Well, that was the other thing. With the camera that I'm using, uh, their mount will not face the proper way. Uh, with the little screw going into the hole and then the other screw screwing into the camera. So I had to remove the small screw and turn the mount backwards so that I could put on the camera because I've got uh, a large bottom on my power zoom and it takes up all the space. Anyways, so uh, I'm quite happy with the item, quite happy with the price of the item. The shipping was phenomenal. To send this on a Saturday and have it arrive on a Tuesday, very, very happy with that. Uh, a little unimpressed with how much they claimed it was worth and then how much the shipping company charged me. Uh, but what can you do? Oh, a couple more things. So they, they give you this manual. Looks a little flimsy, but you know what? It, it's interesting how you can easily turn the pages. That's supposed to be stuck. A little piece of the tape got in there. And uh, it was easy to understand, easy to put together. And so that made me quite happy. The box is good. I like the fact that the box is labeled, do not drop, don't crush. And it came, all the pieces were good. I've got things from other companies that didn't put those stickers on and things were broken inside. So, but anyways, I am quite happy with the unit and uh, it's light and uh, it definitely gets you a little hands off. Oh, uh, when I did test, I only have tested it once uh, because of the extension that I've got to use. I use all their extensions to get it all the way out so I can turn the camera around point it at me and it's still, it's a little bit close, but it's good enough. Um, it, it tends to bounce a little bit with uh, the camera on it, because the camera's a bit heavy. So I'm gonna try it without the light, and go outside and do some outdoor shots and see how she works out. But that's really, I really wanted to get this. And it's, uh, I've been looking at building things, but I still have to hold it. I wanted something I could take my hands off and 
just let my body carry the camera because it's hard to hold these cameras and they are heavy well especially the lenses and stuff and this one's got the lens and the light and all that stuff so anyways uh, we'll see how she looks I'll show you some footage here's the other problem you see that gouge in my hand that was for holding the camera and doing that shot with their quick release on the bottom of the camera so it's no that's a very bad quick release I'm gonna be changing those but boy uh, you can't use the camera normally with that quick release on it. Hello. Hi. You have spit on yourself already. <laughs> And now we can try the walking video. So, as you can see, now we're not walking on anything near level ground. This is an old road. And you can see it's very shaky. I can hold it with both hands and reduce a bit of the shake. I think the background, you know, we're still shaking every footstep. To be expected, but they did advertise it as being steady. So I think if I had it on the lower rig, it wouldn't be quite so shaky but then it would be very close to my face. So, and we can walk close to Sapphire. <laughs> this is uneven ground. That wasn't the camera shaking, that was me falling down. And I can't see the display, so I don't even know if we're both on there. I can see that I'm on there. Now you're on there. I do like the fact that I can swivel it around. It does have a screw I can tighten to make it loose tighter. I can tip down. Now this is where this camera shines. On this stand. I'm breathing pretty heavy, which is making my tummy go in and out, but it's still quite smooth. You can see me breathing. Yeah, so I take my hands off it, is what we get. What? Walking sideways. And that's walking the dog. Used to be a big mill out here. My brother and I were boys. We'd come out here and try to get it running. Hook up all the belts and then the big old saw blade. And I think that was probably some, way smoother than me holding the camera. Yeah, that's very smooth. So this is where it shines when you're standing still. I got complete freedom. 
Now, with this thing on, I don't know if I want to go climbing through all this stuff. It's amazing. This used to be a mill. We could walk around on here. And... Oh yeah, there's the, the rail runner. <laughs> now that's the problem when I bend over. That camera goes right down there. So yeah, we used to run these down the tracks. They were there to support the logs. If you play Skyrim, you probably have seen this kind of stuff. The saw blade is gone. It was giant, about 10 feet tall. My thumb touched the quick release a little and the camera red line. Hi. Okay, you should go out the other way. Uh, I've got a path over here. So you don't have to walk through there. I don't want to. Well, go ahead. I'll catch you falling down, we'll put on funny videos. Excellent climber. I'm gonna you. Don't you pull me, Clover. Don't you pull me. I don't want to die. Just be careful. <laughs> oh, got you falling. Clover, do something. Do you see me talk? a little bit see if that stays things up. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. When you can't swivel the camera, it's a little steadier. This tree's monstrous. So I'm rolling the thing right up over my shoulder. I'm not touching my tummy anymore. Well, the good thing is it doesn't fall off of me. Oh, Trees right with us. This is a very relaxing way to shoot video. I got my hands down. You're not stressing to have your hands up to hold it. The camera is shaking around though. It's pretty much equal with what's happening on the ground. Um, if you brought it closer while you're filming, not yourself. Yeah, I could try that. Let me see what this camera's up nice and high, too. He's been shooting some shotguns up here. There's some shotgun shells. Hearing weird noises with this thing. Yeah. So I look very dark on the video. Let's just turn around the other way. That's the nice thing about this is we can do this kind of shot. Yeah, that's cool. So I guess I'm impressed enough with this. I mean, for the price of this, I don't have to build it myself. Assembly's easy. I've got a plane flying by. By rating. Very good question, Sapphire. Of course, I'm doing something completely different on the video now. So, my rating on Film City's shoulder mount. 
Okay, so we'll give it out of 10. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Uh, you know, price uh, is probably a seven or eight, you know, except for the complication of reporting the price higher than it should have been. And the taxes, you know, those are definitely uh, probably fours out of 10. The actual unit itself is a six. And, uh, you know, I think I can improve on it, but it's nice to have this base for me to, to fiddle around with. I think if it had some handholds on it, like uh, some of the handheld stuff, I might build into this somehow. But anyways, I'll think about it. Definitely want to change the quick mount so that it's the same as my other uh, mount. But it's nice now I can film my other mount and talk about that, film the studio, I can walk around. I don't have to hold this camera. It's very, very nice. And it doesn't feel too heavy. Yeah, it's pushing on my ribs a little bit. And the hook goes around in my back instead of sitting on my shoulder. It's, uh, I don't know why it sits up so high. You know, and maybe there are some more adjustments. Let's just try this. Let's see if we can get it up a little higher. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to, it just seems to be a hook in your back. The back thing's pointing in. So I might put some extra padding on those things for longer shots and things like that. But all in all, I think it's a pretty good deal. And I would highly recommend it over even building something for yourself. Uh, you can still do that sort of thing. But uh, this is very nice. I'm just holding it like a gun right now, off my chest. It still wiggles like crazy. It accents the, the wiggle. Flies sure make this wiggly. <laughs> and laughing. Very nice. Also finding it much easier to make shots with this and keep you guys in the shot almost by accident. Just by walking. <laughs>